What is up guys, one percenters. I am Evan uh, from Life with Evan on all my social media. I have generated over 550,000 followers and subscribers. And this covers everything from TikTok, YouTube, Snapchat, Spotlight, Pinterest, Twitter, and of course, Instagram. I've never really tried to get a who because I never had a product to sell. I was an affiliate, uh, I got a ton of sponsors. And before I went back to college, I was hitting anywhere between 15, 20, or even 30 million views a month. And not knowing what I was doing back then, I wasn't monetized for anything. So like I said, I'm gonna teach you guys what I do to generate these millions of views. And at the end of this video, I'll tell you a little bit more about myself and how I got Ty Lopez and Steven Lau to shout me out. I was on Ty Lopez's website as well. I was doing all sorts of stuff. I was living the bougie lifestyle, flying in private jets and everything. So let's start. First things first, you gotta download TikTok. I am currently filming this video on TikTok. So most people think social media is a very daunting task. It's really not. When you make content and post it, you're not trying to find an audience. The algorithm will put your video in front of people that they think will be interested in your product or your videos. Also, I've posted well over 3,000 videos, so I've learned a thing or two. And that was all within a two year time frame. So once you have like your Facebook group, everything set up the right way, and you wanna start generating traffic to these groups, you're gonna to wanna to start posting no less than four videos a day. The time it will take you to post four videos a day will take you less than a minute and a half. Starting out, you're only looking at 15 seconds or less videos. Especially when it's only a, a brand new account, you just wanna start getting some content out there and getting your account some traffic. All you gotta do is point and shoot. You don't have to edit at all. A lot of the people struggle with figuring out like what they're gonna be posting about. You want to go down to the smallest of details. For instance, my products are patches. I'm gonna talk about individual ingredients. So like for my sleeping patch, valerian root, I can talk about that. Just little bits of info. Once you have your first 30 videos made, go back, check out like engagement, likes, views, which ones had the most. Take that video and repeat it. Or actually better yet, figure out which videos got the most traffic to your group or to your website. Take that video and repeat it, just word it differently or expound on the topic that you were talking about. Like I said, we're only gonna be working 15 to 20 minutes a day. Honestly, it probably will take a little less than that, especially if you're only doing four videos. So I'm gonna add a link that I use for all my TikTok videos. It's a website that you upload your URL for the TikTok video into this uh, website and it re-downloads it with no watermark. Now you got a clean video that you already made one video with no watermark that you can upload to every other platform. Right now is the best time to really take advantage of posting. All the biggest companies are like YouTube, TikTok, uh, Instagram, they're all competing against each other. YouTube is now doing YouTube shorts. Um, TikTok is now doing three to 10 minute videos. And Instagram is just doing everything as well. Each platform, depending on the video, will get you different amounts of reach. I've had one video on TikTok that got thousands of views. I uploaded it to IG and I got millions of views. Took the same video and uploaded it to YouTube. I got 40 something million views on that one video. And then another like tens of thousands on Instagram Reels. So what this is doing is able, you're able to take one video, upload it to five different platforms. Snapchat Spotlight's pretty good too. I have over 5,000 subscribers. Also, do not sleep on Pinterest. It makes no sense, but when you post your video as an idea pin, it gives you a lot of reach as well. This month, I've done over 240 something thousand views on Pinterest. And when you upload it to YouTube for YouTube Shorts, add the hashtag Shorts at the end of the title. All right, let's talk about perfecting a video. If you're a perfectionist, you're going to stunt your growth drastically. Gary V says quantity over quality because quality is subjective. 
And if you spend too much time focusing on uh, one video, you could have uploaded five other videos by then. Every big social media influencers, their first video sucked and it continued to suck over time until they were able to invest into getting like better equipment. After generating millions of views, I invested about $1,500 to $2,000 in video equipment. I never used it. The reason being, I got more views with being authentic and real, posting POV, point of view. The poorer quality videos I posted actually got way more reach. But do not think you should make poor quality videos. I want you to think of this. Netflix, if you want to become a Netflix original film, you have to shoot on specific cameras. So this is that they approve. So this is kind of how I see TikTok. I switched from using the selfie camera, which I'm using now, to just the forward facing camera. And I didn't budge. I still did my four plus videos, seven to even 24 videos a day. What this actually did for me was it increased from the hundreds and then also some thousands of views and instantly boosted every video that I was posting over 10,000 video or 10,000 views. And then it grew to 100,000 views. And then the next couple of weeks, it grew to millions of views. I had like 20 videos that all had a million plus views in a row. You can take a look at David Dobrik, all these like professionals. What they did is they had a mirror behind so they can see what they were filming and they only use the forward facing videos. So you get way more reach using that camera than you do with the selfie camera. It separates you from amateur to professional. Also a reminder, I said it already, but you're not getting people. You're not reaching to a specific people. Basically the algorithm works for you. I hear everyone's like, oh, the algorithm sucks, it's against you. But the content you're putting out there, they are finding people that is, are interested in your stuff. All you have to do is focus on putting value out there, putting content out there, and let everything else do its, its work or its job. The hardest part about all of this is actually just setting up the accounts. Your YouTube, your Snapchat, your Pinterest, your Twitter. You gotta apply for all of these things, set up, and then everything is easy after that. Just post content, re-download it with no watermark, repost to every platform. All right, so I'm gonna get you that link. It's like snaptick.app to erase the watermarks. After posting just for two weeks with this method, the four videos at least a day, you're gonna see massive growth. It's just all about staying consistent. And don't overthink it, you don't have to edit. I'm just clipping each section, and when I stop talking, I pause it. I'm sorry, but I also rushed this video. I usually have a stabilizer and everything, but I wasn't expecting the, the, my post to get as much reaction. Also in all your videos, tell people to join the journey. If you don't say or tell someone to do something, they probably won't do it anyways. Like and subscribe. Make sure you follow or share this video. Or my favorite is re uh, send this video to yourself so that you can go back and apply this. Make that call to action so clear. There is a lot more with when it comes to like SEO, which is search engine optimization to rank for certain keywords, using hashtag marketing as well for Instagram. But it re reality is in the beginning stages, you don't have to worry about any of that. Just post the first 30 videos. I really hope this made sense to a lot of you and that you can start applying this. Feel free to leave comments and I will do my best to answer them as fast as I can. But that's basically the beginner, like the basics. All right, so like I said at the end of this video, which is now I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about me and how I use this method called economic rent to get social status on social media platforms. It's very strategic and kind of sneaky. So with Ty Lopez, I ended up learning a ton of credit stuff that he was teaching, but I learned it myself. I didn't have to pay for consulting. I just read the fine print of credit cards and Reddit forms. I started posting um, flying in private jets, getting all these car free rentals, uh, living in basically suites at Marriott hotels for free. I got half a million reward points in just three months. And like I said, I did this all myself. 
but there's some big names out there in this industry that were um, teaching it. You had to pay like $3,000 a phone call. So on Instagram, I took and I posted the lifestyle basically that I was living and saying, thank you so much, Ty Lopez, for teaching me how to fly in private jets. And same with Stephen Lau, who's the credit guru. So I made sure I tagged them in three locations, the post, um, the photo, and a story. It always got the me their media team's attention. They would screenshot my profile, my picture, my post, and repost it on their stories. And it eventually got onto Ty Lopez's websites. So rather than people paying the $3,000 in consulting fees, I was charging only 500 bucks. Eventually I got up to $2,500 a phone call. All these millionaires started reaching out. How are you flying in private jets for free? We're chartering them for like $20,000, $30,000. So using that economic rent strategy, I built a consulting company where I consulted almost 200 people. But the credit game changes so fast to where I just took my capital and invested into building businesses. It's the same method economic rent is what the Kardashians did. One person got famous, uh, had an established platform, and the other ones followed, giving them credit. You guys, in the 1%, feel free to reach out to me on in the 1% on the Facebook page and ask questions. I want to help you guys and learn from you as well.